Hey, what's up? It's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. I finally got an air fryer. I know. An air fryer is an appliance that sits on your tabletop. It's basically a quasi oven fryer type of sitch. It uses a small amount of oil and hot air to fry your food. As someone that makes a lot of sweet potato fries, I knew that I was going to buy this eventually. It was just a matter of when, and I finally did it. And I wanted to make food in my air fryer for a week. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I filled up two huge grocery bags for the week from Trader Joe's. It costs exactly $100. So I'm gonna quickly show you some of the goodies that I got. We're gonna take this left to right. Rice cakes, pasta sauce, mushrooms, Honeycrisp apples, one potato, two one dozen eggs, sweet onion. This is just for a little treat, these peanut butter cups. They're really good. Zucchini, Parmesan cheese, bananas, breadcrumbs, more onions, unsalted butter, biscuits, rosemary, dill, Kerrygold butter, which is the best butter, far superior than any other. Sweet potatoes, coconut oil spray, cauliflower gnocchi, cauliflower stir fry, bok choy, sun dried tomato chicken sausage, baby spinach, butter lettuce, grape tomatoes, golden berries. These looked really good. Just wanted to try them. Another apple, broccoli, carrots. This Southwest salad is so good for on the go options. Chicken tenders. Alaskan salmon and cucumber and I'm going to put all of this away right now But I plan out all the meals for the week and this is everything that we need. Okay, it's time to actually open up the air fryer now Like no more talking about it. Let's just do it oh. There it is This is huge it comes with 100 recipes, okay How do you open this? I feel like I got a really big one, like by accident. Whoa, got all these settings. Pretty cool, right? It will be cool when it's in my tummy. <laughs> Welcome to the first meal that I'm making with my air fryer. I'm really excited I look disgusting because I just came back from a hot yoga sculpt class, which was like the best class ever So tonight we are making sweet potato fries and I am going to be making coconut crusted chicken tenders I got this recipe from Remy and I have the link in the description box of the video that I did where I tried making these in the oven I ate like Remy for a day and they tasted really good But I could see how an air fryer might have made the outside it's more crispy because I lost a lot of the breading it like stuck to the pan so basically we are going to in like a few batches make sweet potato fries first while the sweet potatoes are cooking I'm gonna prep the chicken so then I'll put the chicken in after also because I don't want the basket to be like covered in raw meat ish and then have to put the sweet potatoes on so that's my logic I figure like the prep and stuff is just not super interesting so I didn't show cutting up the actual sweet potatoes but I did I'm gonna put olive oil in it salt pepper and I really I like mine to be super flavorful so I put garlic powder on there and a little bit of hot pepper like flakes because I like a little bit of kick but if you don't want to do hot pepper flakes I recommend seasoned salt and cinnamon okay here we go let's do it Went right up my nose. <coughs> wow! People actually sneeze after that. Place fries into the air fryer basket, form an even layer. Cook at 400 for five degrees. Remove air fryer and shake ingredients to ensure even cooking. Air fry for an additional 15 minutes. Let's do it! So we got this. We're gonna go to 400 degrees and five minutes. Okay, the alarm just went off, so I'm gonna shake it and then put it in for 15 minutes. We'll see how many increments of 15 I have to do. Looking good. Tell me why they burnt. <laughs> They're crispy. That's for sure. So annoying. I'll eat these. I think I wanna prep and just try like a few more. I'm gonna put the chicken in. It only needs like 12 minutes, so I'm gonna do that. And while I'm putting the chicken in, I'll prep like maybe two more sweet potatoes just so that we can give it a fair go. You know, like this is my first time ever using the air fryer. I'm gonna check on these at um, like six minutes and flip them. 330 degrees for 
12 minutes. Oh my god, look at them. They look so good. I'm really proud of myself. Look how crispy those edges are. That's what it should look like. Okay, I'm gonna take these off real quick. So I did end up making the rest of my like little sweet potato bag and I made a sweet kind of, what am I saying, flavor this time. I did the seasoned salt with cinnamon. I'm gonna pop these into the air fryer and I'm actually gonna cook the rest of the chicken while I'm eating my actual meal. Cause I do wanna experiment with these and though I have been munching on these, I'm sure I'll prefer my dinner with some fresh, not burned sweet potato fries. Emphasis on the not burned, please. Five minutes, and then I'm literally gonna do five minute increments. Wait, was that what I was supposed to do? Probably. No offense, but I killed it. Look at this dinner. I mean, come on. The new ones are phenomenal. Highly recommend doing it for, I think it was literally 10 minutes total. That's all I needed. And now I'm going to dive in. Hello, we are making salmon tonight in the air fryer, obviously. This meal that I am making is like a household staple. We have this meal at least once a week. So it's a true trial and error to see what the salmon tastes like made in the air fryer versus just on like the stove, which I normally cook with. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make. I actually have my makeup done and I washed my hair today. So it's the little things. Um, yeah, truthfully, I got ready because I made a bunch of TikToks. So you should follow me on TikTok. Here's what we're gonna make. Alaskan sockeye salmon. This is from Trader Joe's. We do all of our shopping at Trader Joe's. Side entree is this cauliflower stir fry. This stuff is so good. And then I'm gonna chop up some bok choy. And that is something we have like every single week, if not twice a week. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping the salmon is so good and crispy because there is skin on these fillets, so. The bok choy is sizzling, but the first seven minutes are up. Wow, there's our salmon. Um, holy smokes, this looks freaking amazing. So crunchy and juicy, looks really good. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of this, but it's just easier to put on my plate. I am gonna top it with sriracha, so we're gonna try this. This looks so good, and I have Nick's over here. Um, we'll try it. Wow, that's super juicy. You give me a big piece of salmon. <laughs> you don't have to eat all of it. Right? Mm -hmm. It's moist. I bet you think the skin could be crispier. I like the stovetop better. You do. Another day, another day with the air fryer, another day I regret not wearing any makeup before turning on the camera. Anyway, the air fryer is preheating right now. I have it at 390 degrees and it's preheating for two minutes because we're throwing in some cauliflower gnocchi. I wanted to try this, I found this recipe on TikTok, so basically I'm gonna put it in, coat it with um, coat it with coconut oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. She put everything but the bagel seasoning on it, but I don't know, something with like cauliflower in that doesn't sound great. I'll obviously try a little bit of it, but not the whole thing. Let's just do it, okay? Let's just do it. Here's what they look like. They look so good and crispy and they actually look like tater tots. Oh my God. That's like the perfect texture. I'm happy. Okay. Welcome to the last day of cooking with my air fryer. I wanted to do something breakfasty, but also desserty. So we're gonna make donuts. What? You can make donuts in an air fryer? Like I'm telling you, especially with this book that came with this thing, there's like, a dessert section. I'm so excited. Okay, let me show you what I want to do. This is seriously everything that you need. So, buttermilk biscuits. They did recommend the Pillsbury one in the recipe, but I'm sure this is fine. Unsalted butter and granulated sugar and cinnamon. And it's supposed to be really easy. Basically, I'm going to open these, which, fun fact, is a fear of mine because I hate when things pop, like balloons, crescent rolls, biscuits, that sensation. Mm, not my fave, but we're gonna do it because that means we're gonna get donuts out of this. So basically, open this up, cut little holes out of the biscuits so that they're donut shaped. And then I literally, I'm going to just cook this for five to six minutes and flip it once. And then when it's out, brush some butter on it and then sugar and cinnamon. And then apparently I can dough, uh, fry the donut holes and have munchkins, like 
Why is this literally Emma burning things in the air fryer for a week? She's very crispy. Ow, shit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I need to dip her in butter. Melted some butter. Take her flipper, dip her flipper. This is not any kind of donut I've ever seen. We're gonna try it. Look at those layers. Wow, you literally can't see anything. You know what? Wow. That's straight fire. The fact that I made this in less than 10 minutes is very dangerous. Because this will not be the last donut that I make. I feel like for fun, we should um, put this little donut hole in there. Look at it. We're gonna try the little baby. <laughs> it's so good and it's so cute. <laughs> So freaking good. Now I'm gonna wrap all this up. <sighs> yep, those are all the fun, amazing, delicious treats that I made throughout the week in the air fryer. I am still thinking about those donuts. I would hands down, like, put it down, recommend getting an air fryer. I do not know the next time I'll be cooking with the oven because that solved all of my problems. The fact that I can make salmon, chicken, vegetables, desserts, breakfast foods in one little oven kind of thing. It just blows my mind. The cleanup process is so easy. It is just a breeze to make. You just have to pull it out and flip it a few times if you're making sweet potato fries and put it back in and that's it. I am all here for a minimal, no effort kind of lifestyle and that that's the answer to all of my problems. So yeah, no brainer, I, I recommend that to anyone. <laughs> so that's it for this video. As always, if you want to see me, whoa, that was like a British accent. If you want to see me, um, if you wanna see me try anything else for a week, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.